really love my Korg NTS synth, but I do notice from time to time, Windows 10 just stops recognizing it whatsoever. It just disappears. You know, you'll be using your music software or the NTS1 librarian, and you'll be getting this error message. NTS1 is not connected when it is connected to your USB port. So this is a really quick and simple solution. Follow these steps, you'll be back up and running. Firstly, you have to go to the Korg website and download the latest USB MIDI driver for the NTS-1. So go and download that from korg.com and get that installed. So once that's installed, you find a program on your computer called Uninstall Korg USB MIDI Device. Open that, you might have to just say yes. That's fine, I want it to make changes to my computer and then you'll you'll get here. So the first thing you need to do if you click on option and you untick the delete Korg MIDI device only and then click OK and then you will see a full list of all past and present USB audio devices that have been connected to your computer. So the first thing you need to do is see where your Korg NTS-1 is. Now mine is pretty high up the list here because mine is working at the moment which is great but yours might actually be on a, the second page. So if you can't see your NTS-1 here there's a down arrow you'll be able to find it on the next page. This whole problem comes from the fact that if the Korg NTS-1 is not listed on this first page in the top 10 USB MIDI devices, then it's not gonna be seen by your audio software or the NTS-1 librarian. So what we need to do is delete as many USB devices from here as you possibly can. So if there's stuff you're not using, just tick it and get it ready to be deleted. And the important one is you actually delete the NTS-1 as well. Now just make sure your NTS-1 is not connected at this point because if it is it'll give you an error and just say you need to disconnect it. So unplug your USB port, tick your NTS-1 and then just click next. Say yes. So plug the USB cable back in for your NTS-1 and go back to your uninstalled Korg USB MIDI device. And hopefully when you go into there, you should see your NTS-1 on the first page. So then you can go back into your music software or the NTS-1 digital library. And hopefully you'll see your NTS-1 there. Now for any reason, if you go into the library and you cannot see your NTS-1, all you need to do is go to option at the top, go to preferences and then click on specify MIDI ports manually and then from the drop down for MIDI in and MIDI out you'll see the NTS-1 there so select that and click OK and then it'll be connected when you click receive all you'll then make contact with the NTS-1 and it'll pull in what's there so you can see number one there it's all working and we're, we're, we're back up and running so hopefully that solved your problem and you're back up rocking the NTS-1 hope it helped please like please subscribe and please share the video with any other NTS-1 users cheers